right. I've been quite tape happy at the moment. But yeah, it, it ends up that uh, I've got my motor running at the second, which is uh, on the 3 ohm and 50 ohm bifilia. Now, uh, battery B is running battery A. Uh, at the moment, uh, battery A yeah, has got 12.47 across it, and battery B, which is running it, has got 12.24. Now, uh, apart from that, I've got uh, my Bifilia 200 and 100 ohm coil. Both hooked up in parallel, directly through this uh, bridge rectifier. Which is going directly back into battery A again. Also, I've got uh, another small coil over here, uh, both hooked up in parallel again, but still a bifilia, uh, which we're getting uh, 5 volts AC out of. That's great. Uh, something I found that was interesting was that uh, uh, even though uh, battery A says that we've got 12.47 uh, out of it I've got my uh, trusted AVO here uh, which is very hard to see the scale on that but uh, I'll read it off for you it's uh, 15 point well, it's, it's about 15 and a third so it's 15.3 uh, ish now, uh, I found that quite interesting that uh, we, we've got uh, the analog meter, which is uh, saying that we've got more across it than the digital meter. I don't know which one's correct. My theory is it's probably the analog one. Now, uh, also, I've got uh, another coil layer uh, with a metal bolt in the second, in the centre. Now, uh, all the rest are air coils. Now, I've got three coils on this. Now, I'm using one of them at the second as a pickup coil that's going directly around and into my uh, oscilloscope probe, which is producing this waveform. Uh, let's, on, let's get that on the second one in, and let's move this down, and let's have a look. This looks at the moment like it's, uh, we've got it on 2 volts a centimetre and the time base is on 2 milliseconds. So if we work this out, the, the time it takes for uh, one of the magnets to go around and there's four magnets is 1, 2, 3 and a half. So three and a half at two milliseconds would be three times like three and a half times two milliseconds, and then we have to lock that quite it back up into seconds. We'll see how many times that goes into a thousand, and then that's the uh, revs per second. Now the revs per minute would be uh, that times sixty. So I'm going to work all this out, and uh, I've got a feeling this is going quite quick, to be honest. They were, I think the last calculation I did may have been wrong. So uh, I'm going to do them like this from now on, because uh, I've got my uh, head around it this way. But look, uh, all we need to do is get how many milliseconds it takes for a full cycle of one pulse, and then uh, times that by four to see how much one rotation is and then uh, after that uh, just equate it to seconds and then minutes 